Hey guys, Captain Kelly here. Thanks for joining back in the classroom. Uh, we're tied up at the dock now here back in Florida, our home base, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you about the lines uh, that we put out to keep the boat tied up at the dock. So this first line that we have here off the bow is called the bow line. And today we're at about mid-tide. We have about a three-foot swing here. So when you're tying these lines up, you kind of want to find a happy medium so that you're not having to come out and adjust them uh, for low tide or for high tide. So you will have a little bit of slack in these lines um, so, that, so that as the tide rises and falls that your lines adjust and, and you don't have to do that. So here we are with the bow line. And um, this isn't the ideal scope or the angle, if you will, of what I want from the bow, but um, based on our piling placement, it works for us here behind the house. And if you'll come on down this way, so these two lines here that we have, what's called in the midship position, are spring lines. Our spring lines are somewhat, I would say that they are the most important lines in the boat because especially once you get one of these lines on, you get your springs on, you can maneuver in whichever way that you want. So when I'm instructing my crew as to which line to go out first, you can just about bet that it's always gonna be a spring. Think about what the elements are doing. Do you have a lot of current? If you have a current that's coming on head at you, and it's gonna to wanna to push the boat back, you're gonna put out the forward leading spring first so that it can hold you in place and keeps from pushing you backwards. Then I'll put out the aft leading spring, which is this spring line here, or think of it the other way, if we have a current on our stern, which typically you don't always dock with a current on your stern, but if circumstances warrant that, then I'd, put, I'd instruct them to put my aft leading spring out so that it holds on to me and keeps me from, from going. So there is an order um, there is kind of a, a method to putting these lines out. But again, these are our spring lines, forward leading, aft leading. And you might notice here on our lines how we have an extra smaller piece of line. That's actually a really strong line and it's called Spectra. The reason that we put that on there is you'll see that these, the cleats on Freddie here are a little bit of a smaller design. And getting that eye, that loop at the end of the line around those and situated nicely is a little bit difficult so we put that extra smaller piece of line still very strong on the end of the eye so that it's easier to work on that cleat. So this line back here is what's called our stern line and again a lot of times you'll want a greater scope on this line or a greater angle on this line but we only have so much dock space and so many pilings to work with um, at the dock that we're at here but as you can see this stock line is running from a piling up through a hose pipe. Um, and we do this because we're in and out of the garage a lot. And if this line typically runs up to the cleat around out here, um, then it kind of gets away in the garage. So if you're wondering why it's running so low like that, it's, this is kind of a cool feature that we have here on this boat. So this is our stern line. Comes up here through a hose pipe and attaches to our cleat up here on deck. So there you have it. You have the four lines that we have on Freddy now tying us up. You have the bow line, you have the two spring lines, forward leading and aft leading, and then you have the stern line. Now, we're in calm conditions here in very protected waters. So another thing to think about is if the wind picks up or any weather conditions sort of pick up, you might want to put an extra line or two out. We can get into that a little bit later on, the different types of lines and how many extra you'd put out for what conditions. And again, remember those spring lines, they're important. So coming in, I'm always instructing the crew, they're asking me or I'm letting them know which line I want out first. If you've got a spring line out first, you can get that boat to move in any direction you want.